February 11th marks Fake Club's anniversary, as well as the first of four VIP $12,000 reward events. With more than 5,700 players on the virtual felt, only one could walk away with a seat to the 2009 World Series main event. Joining us now is that winner, George Aries Alley, who took down the competition and will be representing the Spade Club community this summer at the main event. Aries, thank you for joining us today. How are you? I'm doing very well after my win. Awesome. How did the early stages of the event go for you? Uh, to tell you the truth, I had a big problem and I never thought I was going to rectify it. Uh, I turned my computer on, I went onto the site, and my computer literally froze up. Oh no! It froze up for almost a half hour to 40 minutes. And I thought I was going to be knocked out because I thought they had, uh, I thought they not, they uh, just eliminate you from the game after a while. But uh, after about a half hour, 40 minutes, I, I finally got running. And uh, I was shocked. I said, I can't believe this never happened before. That was uh, an experience. You're very lucky. What was it like going heads up with Sherry 7S? Were you, what were you thinking in that moment? At that moment, I, I honestly, honestly couldn't believe I was actually going heads up. Mm -hmm. just, you got to be kidding me. I said, you know, I'm heads up in the final, you know, the final table of this game. I was like in shock. And, but I had, I did have about 13 million chips. So I was very comfortable. I says, I, uh, it, if I lose this one, boy, I'm really a donkey. <laughs> what did you do right after you won? Oh, that was funny because it was like 3 in the morning. I just looked at the screen and I let out a, 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 like a little yell. And I says, I, I can't believe this. I, I think I really won this tournament. And my brother heard it. He got up. He mm -hmm. came running down. He says, what the hell happened? He goes, and I go, I I think I won this tournament. I, just, I, I was still in shock. Like, I, I didn't even think I won it. I just, I was still in shock. I something like that. It's amazing. Wow. Well, with the WSOP coming up in about five months, how are you going to prepare? Well, that's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to definitely play a lot more tournaments um, just to keep, you know, just to keep my momentum going. I do want to read one more book by um, Dan Harrington. Mm -hmm. Everybody says that's a great book for tournaments, so I would love to read that book before I go. Better. Who are you looking forward to meeting while at the WSOP? Oh, please. Are you kidding? I'm going to be like in awe. I, I, I just can't believe I'm actually going to see like Doyle Brunson and uh, Dan, you know, Daniel Granier, the Granu, I'm sorry, uh, Phil Ivey. I'm just like, it's going to be like, I'm going to be, I don't even know what to say. It's going to be like awesome. <laughs> You're going to be playing with the big boys for sure. Oh, yeah. What's the story behind your screen name? Oh, uh, that's an interesting one because uh, I didn't know what to pick. I said, you know, everybody picks these pull-off-the-wall names. And uh, I was just thinking of Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. and Ares happens to be the god of war. And um, he's known for his thirst for battle and blood. And um, my birth sign is Aries, so I thought it felt, fit pretty good. No, it definitely went together. How or when did you get into poker? Oh, I would say about 10 years ago. I, I was, actually I was playing since a kid, but we played these stupid little games of uh, how many wild cards, this is wild, that's wild, everything is wild. But you know, you really don't learn how to play that much like that. But then I started playing a lot of stud. And that was my initial game. And then I heard about this um, Texas No Limit. And I said, wow, this looks really interesting. And I got into that and I didn't even know what I was doing. But <laughs> little by little, I, you know, I found my way around. No, I think that's great. You're doing very well for a beginner, definitely. What, do, what are your favorite features about Spade Club? Um, I tell you the truth, I never expected everybody to be so friendly. It's like uh, it's like literally like playing at a home game. Everybody, you know, like talks to you. Um, I got so many, so many supporters. I never expected that. And everybody was so. I'm really everybody was so friendly, thanking me and supporting me and ho hoping that I do good down there. Definitely, I think. Yeah, that's the best part about this. Club. I completely agree. The community is so supportive and they will be watching you this summer for sure. Any special shout outs to anyone? Um, 
just my mother, my brother John, a couple of friends, uh, Mike, George, and Chuck, and especially my poker friends. They even helped me a lot at uh, Joe Boo's. At the um, you're a retired hairstylist, correct? Oh, yes, I'm a, exactly, yes. Are we going to be seeing any fun dues for the WSOP? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, my hands are starting to get a little rusty with the updos. Like, cutting hair is, is uh, no problem, but the updos are a little tricky right now. Awesome. Very, very fun. Aries, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I know the whole Spade Club community will be watching and supporting you this summer. Good luck, and we'll talk soon. Okay, thank you. I appreciate if it. If you'd like to learn more about Aries, visit the news page on spadeclub.com to read his full interview. I'm Britt, wishing you the best on and off the tables.